frick? AAA games live in this meme world that if you just throw more money at the game, it'll be better. It's like whenever we as programmers estimate the development for software and the executives just be like, well, we need more devs then, bruh. That's like hiring nine women to produce one baby in one month. It ain't working that way, son. And we have a live and in color representation of this recently with the finals. Most AAA titles are released in better state these days. Tons of bugs and rest assured the servers aren't ready to take the load. Much like a teenage girl. But at least the battle pass is ready, right? Right? Rightly so, us gamers have been pissed to spend 70 to 100 bucks on an unfinished mess. And if you see the budgets these games had, you can't help but wonder, where the fuck did all the money go? It's like Disney making a new Marvel movie with only strong female characters. And this is where the finals is different. I for one didn't hear of this game at all. I know there were so many people playing the open beta, they had to add an extra login queue. I dodged that better than any OnlyFans girls dodging responsibility for their actions. Anyway, Embark, the developer, reported at peak levels the game was developed by a hundred people. There are no official numbers on what the budget for the game actually was, but considering this, it was likely way under a hundred million dollars. Probably even less than 50 million dollars. And yet, it is running circles around these AAA games where many people brace it to be the best shooter that has come out in years. Does it have problems? Of course. Is the battle pass impossible to finish? Of course. It's like searching for blowjob clips on Google. It's 12 pages and it all sucks. Look, I'm not saying it's a 10-10 without flaws. And you gotta make money, I get it. But compared to what has come out recently, it hits harder than Chris Brown on a good day. Despite the other ugliness of the characters. Turns out, if the game is solid and fun, get it, fun, then gamers are even ready to put up with ugliness being shoved up their ass. Although we usually like more realistic body standards in our games. Are you listening, Hollywood? I have an entire video on the war on beauty in games if you want to dive deeper on that topic. But what is making the final so much better? Well, I'll share my own theory in a second, but please head down to the comment section and tell me what it is for you that makes this game so much fun. Driving engagement on this video as seamless as Kim Kardashian juggles black balls for fame. Not for fame, sorry. It's a business wisdom we all came for. Came for! So why is this game such a success? No fucking battle royale. Ever since PUBG, that all lovely mess of a bugged game that had over 3.5 million active players at one point. Still number one, by the way. Every gaming company was snatching harder to BR modes than Kathleen Kennedy to lesbian filmmakers for Star Wars. Wait, wrong pick. That's her. Except for Halo, which for some reason just still couldn't make a BR happen. Since every game had a BR mode and people are just fucking bored with it. Throughout this scamdemic, people had a lot of time on their hand. So waiting 20 minutes in the lobby, Running around for 20 more minutes looting, not seeing anyone. Only to be sniped from 800 meters to start off again worked. Now, not so much. People want fast pace, quick to the point action. And in the finals you shoot faster than when your girl comes home after a three week trip. So that works. Number two. Get your carries out of here, man. See, if you look at CS in regular toxic ass pucks, you can easily carry a game if you're good. You just kill the entire team and you won the round. But with the finals, you actually have to play as a team. The Pareto distribution doesn't work here. You don't know that? Pareto says that in any given company, 80% of the work is done by 20% of the workforce. So if you look at your 9 to 5, you probably can see that this is quite true. In the finals, not so much. All three of you beautiful um, Afinakli characters need to work together to get the objective. The objective reigns supreme. Money runs the world, and so it does in this game. So people are actually forced to play together, which they usually, usually kind of, they usually kind of, kind of do it, all right? Okay, most of the times. Number three, Beeman. See, if you look at CS or COD or any other AAA titles that usually suck balls, spraying down the enemy doesn't really work, unless you learn all the recall patterns and shit. But honestly, you're better off not spraying. Even Shroud said it himself. Nobody wants to spray. I don't think you realize that. Nobody wants to spray. However, in the finals, it's encouraged. Regardless of playing the AKM as medium or the M11 or the MP5 clone, whatever the name is, as the light, or even the heavy guns as the heavy. Get it? Heavy stuff for heavy people. You can just beam down your enemies. Headshots do exist in this game, but it never feels to be on the same level as in CS. And you just get rest anyway or respawn in a few seconds. So just go brrrr. And that's fun. It's light-hearted. No need to try hard headshots, just pick up the throwing knives and throw the game. Um, I mean, just pick up the AK and hold left mouse button. Easy. Now I could go on in detail what makes this game fun. 
But if you are of decent intellect, you'll notice what I was mostly talking about. Simplicity. The game is easy to pick up. Quick games, just left-clicking people. It's a cool game to relax. Play with friends, try some fancy builds, etc. But it's not for stupid people. You need to play tactical and strategically to get the objective. Sometimes even throw the cash box off the map so the other team can't get it. So that makes you win. It is not for dumb people. It is for smart people that just want to chill. Which is honestly, most gamers. AAA companies always think we are mentally challenged incels that need to be handheld throughout the entire game. When in reality, most of us are grown people that strike their life quite well. And we just want to chill with some games on the side. The finals is a shooter for the grown man. The actual target audience of a shooter. And that's why it works. Alright, that's it for now my keyboard warriors. It's time for some spiels.